Guten Tag! Good morning, people. Hello, how are you doing? It's been a while. Also, I just realized that's not really my intro. Should I do one? Yeah, but. Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge. Today, we are back with another video, and I've picked up the vlog camera after what seems to be an eternity. Today, we are hitting up a festival for a slash. Just like an event where there's going to be a tons of vintage stores, uh, this place is called, or the event is called, A Current Affair. And I was first made aware of it by one of my favourite stores here in LA called Vintage on Hollywood. Whenever it comes to beautiful, well curated stuff, I head over there and they told me that they've got a booth at A Current Affair. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go check it out. Hopefully we might cop some, cop, some, cop some things. If not, then it will just be an opportunity for me to show you some pieces. If we're allowed to film. I'm gonna be heading over there with Vladdy, who some of you guys might already be aware of. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll be sure to leave the links to that in the description box down below. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Maybe this might be a whole day thing. If not, it might be like an hour or two thing. Hello, mate. About an hour and a half late, but he's made it. What, what time do you call this, mate? <laughs> Vladdy? What um, up? You guys, if you're like an OG YouTube head, or if you went for a phase of loving acne for slash APC, was, it was APC jeans, wasn't it? They, they, APC made the first video. We're gonna head over to a current affair now. It's what? <laughs> Too late. Yeah, but well, how, long, how long is it? 24 oh, minutes. Oh, 24 minutes. Yeah. 24 minutes. Hopefully, we're going to find some absolute gems. You said you weren't looking for anything specific, were you? Dude, okay, so here's the thing. I have a limited amount of cash with me, and I want really basic things that I know that if they're super expensive here, I can just cop them in Japan when I go next month for, like, pennies. Flex. Light flex. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's going to be expensive here. Yeah. That's Especially what it is, because like, it's like, curated, like, right? Well, it's very curated, and it's also like a, a way for them to just flex their prices. Like, if you go uh, to their stores or their stalls that they would sell to regularly, I'm sure yeah. it wouldn't be as expensive as it is now, but because it's more of a festival, well, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a fair, like it's whatever. A, it's a current affair, in fact. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, man's got a joke. We were just talking about how came back from Vegas, lost quite a bit of money, so that's taken a, that's taken a hit on my shopping. But you know, has you it went. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it, it sort of has. Man got straight off the plane and went to the Chrome Hearts store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. But, bro, it's like I told you, I wanted to get that f Nick Fouquet hat. Uh, and I had to win 1.3. <laughs> but you're still getting the hat. <laughs> oh, no, no, not on this trip. Uh, no, I'm gonna skip. Nah, it'll be way too silly. RIP. Yeah, RIP Nick Fouquet. I am gonna come back for you, though, and hopefully. Next time I'm in LA, facts, we're going to be decked out in Nick Fouquet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's fire. I like, I like all the pocket details as well, and that gunmetal sort of finish on the button. No, dude, I go hard for these guys right here. Oh, right, the side tabs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, a little bit of that. <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right, so we just got done at the current affair vintage spot. Hold on, let me try and get that good light in. There we go. We just got done at the vintage spot. Absolute fail on my part. Obviously, you can't pull your camera out. And it was just so rammed. Literally so many people. So I couldn't even do anything on the slide. I did pick up a couple of things. The selection is absolutely insane. So if you're based in LA, I think it's going on until Sunday. This video will probably go live on Sunday, so it'll be too late. Basically, we it. I'm sorry, we couldn't get any footage in there. But yeah, it was just way too rammed, way too many people, and I don't think people were too keen on the whole filming thing either, so I didn't even really bother trying after the first attempt. Look at this. Dirty sp I ain't trying to get demonetized here, boy. <laughs> Dirty sparkling flavoured water. I mean, I'm sure it's really nice, but man's only do that still goodness be. I love it, your lifestyle, man. Well, it still's cleaner than sparkling. So, nice. so it still comes straight from the top. It gets filtered, mm. and the sparkling they add some next shit to it, don't they? Filtered water is still shit water, man. <sighs> Listen, it's okay, man. Whatever hydrates you. Yeah. Stay thirsty, See, no, my this friends. is why, boys. I'm, a, I'm just a shit vlogger. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Pulling out a camera when there's Nothing it was happening. never. It was very rammed. Yeah, the yeah. selection was. Fire, but there a were, well, go on. there were a lot of like 40 year old rich white women. 
basically. That wore a lot of Chanel. That was it. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> and they had some beautiful pieces. One, it was very loud in there, so they, they were blasting music. And two, it's not like I could even speak. And the music sucked, so it's like... I, did, I didn't mind the music too bad. But I just couldn't... You couldn't speak. I would only be able to show you some B-roll footage of the pieces. But, oh my god, that was insane. If you were to describe your favourite piece, because we can't even <laughs> show it to them. What was it, mate? My favourite piece? In there. Oh, the dick print pants? That was sucked. The Pants. Yeah, no B-roll of that one, guys. No B-roll. But just Again. imagine a big denim dick embroidered patchwork style. Yep, right by the knee. Yeah. It was an insane piece. If it didn't look so much like a dick, <laughs> I would have copped it. But it just, no, it just screamed penis. It's the next undercover collab. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring my vlog camera. Yeah, yeah, I'll do some vlogs whilst I'm in LA. <laughs> I'll show people. Good one. Travel sequence. Travel B-roll. Here's what LA looks like. Facts. There you go, there you go. Hot dog stands, fucking LA, USPS, uh, Artikiros Religiosos. We've just had lunch. Uh, Vladdy took us to a spot where it was fucking insanely dark, so I couldn't film anything, I couldn't. Whatever. Great pizza. Was it called pizza in Pizza Nista? Pizza Nista. Pizza Nista. Amazing pizza. But whilst we were there and talking and discussing, I just walked into Shay. Do you want that guy's shirt up with him? I'm good. Do you ever think about that? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off your No, no, that's all good. What as in just as, as in cop stuff of people's Yeah, like let's say you saw a homeless guy wearing just like the most fire vintage piece ever. Okay. Would you be like, I'll give you and you knew the word. Let's say it was like a piece that you knew was like five hundred dollars. Would you would you throw him a bone and be like, I'll give you a hundred bucks for that Bro, off your back right now? Would you do that? If it's a homeless guy, I totally would fucking do it. Do I don't know him? if I would because he probably needs it more than I do. But you're giving him money, like true. Ooh. Or like, yo, let's trade shirts. If you're wearing like some trash shirt. Like, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Trade shirt and give him money. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. yeah. Down, works with me. Anyway, where was I going with my point before that? We're getting really, oh, we were talking, we were discussing, and uh, you know the whole concept of like, fuck my, fuck, marry, kill. How interesting would it be if we were to do that, but in a fashion, fashion element? So rather than fuck, marry, kill, it would be flex, keep, keep flip. Yeah. It's a work in progress with the title, <laughs> but we're hopefully going to be filming that next weekend when Vladdy gets back in town. Yeah, and I think it's going to be a sick video, at least I'm very looking forward to it. Anyway, we're now en route to get some pick coffee and also find a fit pick destination. Voila. The Loewe goodness over there. Beautiful. I was kind of hoping that they had, look at that bro. Leather super wide trousers. These are the turnover trousers. Again, absolutely amazing. And they were ooh, ooh. not the biggest enfant riche déprimé guy, but just because their price points never make sense. But this T-shirt, oh my god, cut! It's just absolutely st stunning, stunning piece. But yeah, departmento when it comes to highly and extremely well curated pieces. Designer pieces, but also various price points. And this is the spot that I recommend. What you got? I don't know what these are. Where are the Fips. No idea what that is. I don't know what that is either. Just like, you know, straight, pleated sweatpants. How much are they though? I have no idea. Let me see. There's no tag. No, there is. It's on. It's written on this bit. Oh shit! So yeah, it's three seventy. Well, yeah, I wouldn't pay that, but it's still sick though. I mean, literally everything besides the crotch area is perfect. perfect. Yeah. Like the length, the but way that it flares out ever so slightly. But feel, feel the pant material, by the way. Sick. sick. Mm, yeah, get that good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's fire. Yeah, everything and the pant and the color as well. Yeah, the color is fucking. Insane. But bro, nobody uses, I mean this is controversial, but nobody puts anything in trouser pockets. That's why you have bags, that's why you have jackets. No, I wear these just like everyday pants. They're fire, but They're around crotch is too too tight. Wait, show you them so then they can get, because right now you can't see it. Oh, the crotch? You want to get a little crotch up? Pools around right here. there and there, which is not ideal. But besides that... Should I try on a larger size just for fun? 
What brand is it? Second layer. Okay, cool. Oh, look who we have. What have we got today? Stats boys. The Ricky Dunks. The El Stats Ballet. The Rough Tea. Stati boys. And um, get your f checkerboard vans the f out of here. No and then the Owen Colette Hire bag. This is pretty much how my everyday shit carries everything that I need. And that's the basic fit for the day. Okay, so we're back home now. The shopping portion, it was a bit of a fail. I'm not gonna lie to you. However, with all good things, there's a silver lining. I picked up some things, I picked up two things. So we're gonna switch cameras. I'm gonna go into the other camera and talk you through the piece, show you guys how it looks. The next morning. Whew. All right, cool. We centered, we focused on my strip. There's a... It will work. Anyway, so, as you saw from the previous little uh, Spongebob meme thing, it is indeed the following day, but I'm gonna talk you through the two pieces that I got. And they were both from the same retailer with the same stand, and they're called Moth Food. They're based out in Detroit and LA. Got two pieces from them, they're just absolutely incredible. And the number one is this knitted cardigan in this incredible yellow colorway. It's super vibrant. Now from what the person at the, um, the stand is stalled told me is that this was dyed using turmeric as well, which is quite an interesting thing to mention, I guess. I mean, if you don't care, you don't care. Hence why I think it has such a potent colorway in incredibly good condition. There's only one tiny little uh, nick, pull, whatever you wish to call it, but that was repaired with yellow stitching, so it's barely noticeable and it kind of has that worn in vintage look to it. It can be worn buttoned up, it can be worn opened. In the B-roll, I've just got it with a white tank top. And yeah man, I feel like with my skin tone, it just sits really nicely. And yeah, it's just something that I was super glad to come across and I'm very excited to add to my wardrobe, especially because it's more of a, a fall winter item and obviously when it comes to fall winter, you tend to gravitate more so towards darker pieces. So to have this to kind of spice up anything, Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, boom, item numero uno. And I think we got it for a very good price. Like, I got two items. Wait, what just went on? So, the AC. Okay, if you hear some noise, I do apologize. It's just how I got this and I got these trousers both for 200 bucks. Which, obviously, if you were to go actually thrifting and, and find them, you can probably find it for a lot cheaper. But in a place that is like I said, very curated and an event, they will obviously bump up the price ever so slightly. But we have a pair of Dickies painted trousers, carpenter pants, whatever you wish to call them. And boy, are these absolutely insane. So the belt did not come with it. That's just one of my own purchases that I got from Silver League, that CCP Flex light work. So we can find some painting throughout the leg. There's a tiny bit of patchworks to repair the holes and whatever. It's done in a very cutesy manner, like especially the way that it's been stitched in. Nothing really super professional, like you can tell this has been hand stitched and it really gives it a charm to the piece. I just absolutely love it, man. It's been worn in tremendously well. And um, there's a couple of holes, a couple of repair piece, repair patches, sorry. And yeah, the length is perfect. Now, as I've showed it in the B-roll, you can cuff it up and wear it with boots, but you can leave it long and you can wear it with sneakers. That's another thing that I love about this pair of trousers is the fact that you can wear it with so many things and that is always going to be a plus. And yeah, super fire. So glad to add these to the collection. And I think for both pieces, $200, it's not too shabby at all. Um, in the UK, boy, you'd be looking to pay a lot more. So that's why I love to come out here and hit up these vintage flea events, markets, whatever you wish to call them. Boom, boom tees. And I think that is going to, oh, before I even close it off, another thing, which I'm sure you'd have seen it in the B-roll, is the paint. Like, I love the way that it's crumbled. It kind of gives me Margiela vibes from when, was it the Converse's or some pair of shoes? I'm sure he did it with garments as well, where he painted over them, and then over time they crack, and you saw the color that was underneath. Same thing going on here, the different textures, and I hope the B-roll really highlights it. And sometimes paint has been um, painted over repair patches and some holes so just oof so fire man so so happy to have these in my collection but that is going to wrap up this video once again i'm terribly sorry about the fact that i couldn't really vlog whilst i was uh, shopping 
but you know that's what's going to make this video special this is going to be a failed shopping vlog how many of those do you see on youtube none well one and that's by me so if you wish to follow me on my social media it's all right here uh, here s-a-n-g-i-e-v thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below also i'm only here now for what 10 more days so if there's anything you wish to see whilst i'm out here do let me know and um that is it from me have a beautiful day take care